Good morning, everyone. I, in this video, I want to talk about why bother learning how to mix your own colors and using a limited palette. My name is Vita Evenson, and I paint grease. Okay, so this morning I got up and I was making my coffee and um, thinking about how I would love to have this like brand new espresso machine, one that will, uh, you, all I have to do is pour the beans in, it'll grind them up, put it in the perfect, uh, you know, uh, size for the perfect espresso and everything is all done by the machine. And then I thought, well, wait a minute. That's kind of like mixing your own colors and using a limited palette. If I went out and bought all of my colors uh, and laid them out on my palette and just started painting with them, so much of the process, the feeding and nourishing of creativity just gets wiped right out. I mean, it just gets taken away. So I am thinking uh, about this and realizing that if I had one of those coffee makers, all of the motions of making my coffee uh, would be gone, irrelevant, snubbed away. And I wouldn't have the experience of grinding my own coffee. And I don't have a coffee grinder where you push a button and it'll grind for espresso or for uh, uh, filter coffee or whatever. I have to do it by eye. <laughs> so I put the coffee beans in and I put in the little mixer. I started blending or breaking up the coffee beans. I'm counting to about 17 seconds to 20. I'm counting. I don't have a timer on. Okay. Stay with me. I then, uh, you know, put it in, um, uh, the, uh, the, What's it called where you uh, put it in and you tamp it down? You tamp, I, I forget what it's called. Uh, and then put it in the machine and make my coffee. Now, the quality of my coffee depends on how well or not I ground the coffee beans, right? That's the beginning. So each time my coffee is a little bit different, uh, not exactly the same, it's not perfect. It's not regulated. It has the element of, without it being alive, it feels like it's alive because the process of me making the coffee is, um, is, I want to say alive. I can't think of another word because it's that that um, element of of um, of it, where you're unsure you don't have any uh, de facto things happening. You could mess it up. Coffee could be watery. Coffee could be too bitter. Coffee could be, you know, whatever. And, and that's the same thing with using a limited palette. You have your three colors plus one um, earth tone. I, I go with burnt sienna. I think for most of us, uh, especially in the beginning, I think it's a great uh, uh, earth tone to use. And uh, you begin to mix your colors. Well, if you start mixing your greens, uh, like I, I did in this video that's coming up on Friday, uh, they'll always be a little bit different. You'll never get them exactly the same as if you're squeezing out the green from a tube. But what do you gain? by not having the convenience of just squeezing the color out on a tube and there it is. What you gain is becoming an artist. What you gain is an immediate and personal collaboration with your inner self, with your creativity. That's what's going on. So I'm mixing the colors a little bit this way, a little bit that way. It's not quite what I want. How can I adjust it? And you, you create, you co-create the color. I, I mean, I know that sounds so, um, 
<laughs> it sounds so new agey these days, but it's true. You are, uh, uh, you are creating it. It's not coming out of a tube and then you're fixing it on a canvas. You are fixing the color and then putting it on the canvas and working it into the canvas the way that it needs to go and seeing if it works for the colors or for the values that you have on your canvas for that specific area that you're looking to fill in. So I don't know if I could have a ready made, you know, super duper coffee machine that I just pour the beans in and, it, and push a button and then suddenly I have this perfect cup of coffee every time. Yeah, there are mornings when, um, when I would like that, but no, there's something about grinding the beans yourself, taking off the top of the grinder, pouring it into the little thing, which I still can't remember the name, tamping it down, pressing it down and getting the beans the way, or the ground beans the way they should be for espresso, putting it in the machine, turning it on, the aroma, the sounds, everything about it, the moment, you know, of making the coffee, the way the sun is coming through or not, depending on the weather, if it's windy or not. I mean, are the cats meowing outside? I mean, there's a gazillion different things that all come together, like in a painting, all sorts of small moments come together in paint represented on a two-dimensional uh, surface. So this is just an example of how I see the world and I see painting and I use the experience of learning how to paint uh, in my everyday life in making coffee and the things that I gain. So a limited palette will get you much farther, will give you a much deeper expression and experience of being creative than if you have everything set out and, and pre-cut and made for you. So get out there, grind your own coffee beans and stick to a limited palette. And don't forget to subscribe if you like what I'm doing and click that notification bell. And please leave a comment. I love to answer questions. I love to respond to you and uh, build a community. So have a beautiful, beautiful day and we will talk soon.